Well, it probably isn't necessary, but let me introduce him anyways. This is the Servant Archer. He is the heroic spirit that was my partner in the last Holy Grail War. The Golden Knight appears. It is Gilgamesh, the King of Heroes. The atmosphere changes immediately. Gilgamesh appearing suddenly crosses the temple and stands by Kotomine. So, what are you going to do now, Kotomine? Are we settling the, the match with these nuisances here? I don't think this is good directing on your part. Do not say that. I was not expecting this either. I shall listen to your complaints later, so forgive me. Oh, if you understand, it's fine, but you... You... But can you not do something about that vulgar man? I might kill him if he glares to me. If he glares too much at me. What the hell is this, Kotomine? That man is your servant? Oh, I did not explain it to you yet. He is my servant from the previous war. We shared the same feelings after the last war ended. Since he obeyed me and I prepared sufficient food for him to stay here, we ended up cooperating. So that's the reason for this disgusting room. Fine, but why didn't you tell me about it? Do you think there was a need to? Or did you want to cooperate with him on your mission? No way. I'd rather die than cooperate with that guy. Now there are three. Lancer is by the stairs and Gilgamesh is standing in the temple. There's no way we can win. We can't even match Gilgamesh and we can't even run away if Lancer's there as well. Kotomine, you said you didn't know about him. Do not doubt me. I am a priest. I cannot lie. That's not true. You said you couldn't ignore a servant from the last war. Yes, I was surprised as well. I ordered Archer to stay here, but he disobeyed and went to attack you. It is only natural for you to discover me if, you're, if you investigate Archer. Therefore, I had to come up with some sort of plan. See, I did not lie to you at all. I, I'm pissed. That guy tricked me and I came straight to the enemy's base. So you are Archer's master. Correct. This is much like a repeat of ten years ago. Well, I was unable to witness the final moment since Kuritsugu had already de defeated me. This will be the second and the last time I shall see you. Answer me. Why does Archer still remain? What caused that fire? Why are you still alive even after being beaten by Kuritsugu? Saber is angry as there's hatred in her voice. A question long unanswered, as if asking about the crime of the disaster ten years ago. I do not even need to tell you. Ten years ago, the Holy Grail was incomplete but full, and it was possible to obtain it. I merely touched it. You and Kuritsugu were powerful, so I wished for a diversion to separate you two. But I was surprised by the diversion that occurred. Hold on. Could that be... Then you caused that fire with the power of the Holy Grail? Who knows. I think the Holy Grail would have done the same thing even if I was someone else. It is a thing of that nature. People call it an omnipotent vessel, but only blood... Darkness and curses fill it. You saw it as well, right? The darkness that spilled out from it when you destroyed the Holy Grail. It only spilled onto Archer. Archer would not have lost his way if you had not destroyed the Holy Grail. Nonsense. The Holy Grail is a magical vessel that grants the wishes of its possessor. That fire must have been your wish. Only the result. The process was not what I had in mind. I only wished for people to be gone from that place. In any case, you lack imagination. Your wishes will be granted. That is fine, but how will you, but how will your wish be granted? Do you think the world would change the instant you wish? I do not know about the original Holy Grail, but this Holy Grail is merely a vortex of power. It cannot make precise calculations or correct any inconsistencies. It is only pure power. It is like a great weapon. If the possessor wishes for great witches, wishes, riches, 
It will kill everything around it to bring happiness to its possessor. Do you understand? That magical vessel is a defective item that can only grant the wish the wishes of its possessors through a method called destruction. I've never heard of this method. What? That is not what was promised. Is the Holy Grail not something that will grant any wish to its possessor? It is. The measures the Holy Grail takes are very reasonable. Letting one person survive means killing another. This world is one of equal exchange. Wishing for some special event means feeding on something to make it possible. Wishes will not come true if you worry about harmony. It is merely a fluctuation dependent on the plundering of the weak. It is the most efficient fluctuation. I can understand Saber's surprise. If Kotomine is telling the truth, this Holy Grail is far from the Holy Grail she wished for. A power that only grants the wish of its possessor. The usurper that grants the wish of its power of its possessor at the cost of everything else. This is the true identity of the omnipotent power given to the master and the servant. Then, the Holy Grail is... a poisoned vessel that eliminates everything but its possessor. You will know when you see it. It is a true curse. And that delights me. Touching the Holy Grail is a dream for a man of the church, but this Holy Grail exists to kill everything, and to be able to control that, it is like a dream. Saying that, the priest laughs. It's not a polite laugh like before, a laugh from the bottom of his heart, a holy laugh without an evil, without any evil. That laugh, f that laugh forces me to realize this man is not human. I cannot let him have the Holy Grail over anyone. Then, this is goodbye. Take care of this trash. Lancer, take the boy. Archer, take Saber. The priest turns his back and goes up the stairs. The only ones left are me and the two servants, and Saber standing as if to guard me, glaring at her enemies. Time passes. We have to defeat Lancer and Gilgamesh to escape the outside. To escape outside. It's impossible to beat them. We have to do something and regroup, but... Shiro! Saber mutters while looking at the enemy. I know I am asking for something impossible, but please stay beside me. She grasps, grasps my hand firmly. That tells me she's ready. All right, I'll do my best to follow you, so don't worry about me. I nod to her. I can barely walk right now. Saber and I know that. With that in mind, Saber has told me she will break through this. So what can I do but nod? Yes, I trust you. She replies in a small voice. Now! Letting go of my hand, Saber runs to the temple. The two figures react to her movement. What? Only Saber and I are surprised. What happened? Lancer's lance that should have attacked me goes th for Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh's longsword repels Lancer's at Lancer's lance as if expecting it. Sorry, I missed. I see. Your lance must be pretty light. The two separate without any sign of hostility. Your target is that mongrel. You do remember that I'm in charge of Saber, right? Oh, that. Sorry, but, uh, I changed my mind. He didn't order me with a command spell, so I'm not going to obey him. Saying so, Lancer faces Gilgamesh as if protecting us. What? Lancer, you are... If it's something stupid, don't say it. I'm not helping you or anything, I'm just following my beliefs, b, -b baka Lancer points his lance at Gilgamesh. He really intends to let us go. Well... I was at my limit, too. I'm not nice enough to listen to his orders when he looks down on me this much. I'm cutting my ties with Kotomine right now. Oh, you are breaking your contract with him. So you do not mind being eliminated now? Even though the Holy Grail is right in front of you? Don't treat me like you. I've never had any interest in a second life. No. No hero is interested in such a thing. 
We're not attached to this world. We're just attached to the oaths we couldn't fulfill. Well, I guess a gritty apparition like you wouldn't understand. I see. A man with a brilliant death has something different to say. So this betrayal is a result of your heroic pride as well, huh? Jeez. Following your belief sure is hard, Lancer. The air behind him distorts. Weapons appear in enemy space. Lancer! He has all the original noble phantasms. He is the king of heroes with the longest history. If you cannot take him on head to head. <sighs> Damn, I see. No wonder he's so conceited. He's the guy who destroyed his own country just by doing whatever he wanted. So of course he's twisted. Lancer, this is no time to be bluffing. Just get lost. Who are you to give me advice? Don't think I'm on your side just because I protected you, babaka. Jeez, this is why I don't like the well-mannered knights. Lancer urges Saber to run. Saber han hangs her head for a second. Good luck. I shall return this favor. Taking my hand, she runs to the stairs. Damn, I let them go. Gilgamesh just watches us go, not trying to follow us. Oh, so Saber wasn't your target. Well, to be honest, such a match did not suit my taste. If you had not done this, I would have done the same thing. We go up the stairs. She is worried about me, so we aren't going up that fast. Ignoring our slow pace, the confrontation underground escalates without limit. The murderous intent continues to grow. What do you mean by that? Did you intend to let Saber go as well? Of course. I had no intention to kill Saber. That thing is mine. But I cannot stay idle if I want the Holy Grail. I need just one more servant to die for the ritual to be complete. Oh damn, he's even got Gaybolg! A thousand swords appear. The Golden Knight grins. That's why he was able to block Lancer's surprise attack. Lancer wasn't the only one trying to laugh a surprise attack on his ally. Damn, so this was your plan all along. I told you, I would have done the same thing if you had not done so. You deserve praise, Ku Chulane. The situation is ideal for me. The distance between the two decreases. Before I see them clash, we leave that place. Oh, this is different. Ugh. I stop. My body tells me I'm at my limit. Let us rest, Shiro. You cannot continue in your condition. Yeah, I'm just causing you trouble like this. I move away from Saber and sit down on the grass. The wound on my chest is still there. It stopped bleeding, but the hole is still there. I feel sick. Even though the pain is gone, I have a hole in my body. Just looking at it makes me sick and I wonder why I'm alive like this. Shiro, let me look at your wound. Saber crouches and looks into my chest. Well, I guess, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna go for a pun, but I don't even think I want to get that... I don't even... That pun may destroy the universe if I use that pun. It's a bit embarrassing. Well, I mean, you have a hole in your body, Shiro. Uh, no, it's alright. Excuse me, this will hurt a bit, but... Please bear it. Saber's fingers run across my chest. <laughs> hey, hey, Saber. I got a hole in my chest. Chick stick scars, right? Hey. <laughs> Pervy C tactics couldn't come up with anything. Uh, then, I don't know why, but she places her hand over my wound and digs into it. G ah, uh! My body jumps. Saber's hand mercilessly digs into me and... You... What? <laughs> She's digging into me with her bare hands. It should hurt. It should hurt, but... Huh? There's no pain. Rather, pain seems to disappear around the places Saber touches it. 
I am done, Shiro. I restored magical energy to the sheath, so your wound should ha should heal in half a day. Sheath? What the hell is she talking about? Oh! Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, Shiro is her sheath. I guess she... I don't know. Taking her hand off my chest, Saber looks relieved. Sheath? I don't understand. Saber, what do you mean by sheath? I think you mentioned it before, but... Could it be your sheath? Saber sheath. The sheath of the sword Excalibur. The sheath of her sword is not invisible air. In the legend, the sheath... Can I stop saying sheath? In the legend, the sheath of Excalibur was a noble phantasm that makes its possessor immortal. But she shouldn't have that. King Arthur died in the Battle of Camelon because that sheath was lost. Saber shouldn't have the sheath right now. God, stop saying sheath. Yes. God damn it! Yes, my sheath is inside your body. It was my fault for not realizing that fact until last night. In my body? That's ridiculous. There's no way. Is that so? It was simple from the beginning. You summoned me, Shiro. It was foolish of me to think it was by chance that I was summoned. To summon a heroic spirit, one needs a symbol connected with that spirit. Since you were inexperienced as a magus and uneducated as a master, you needed a connection that would overcome all those deficiencies. That was my sheath. The lost sheath of Excalibur. Wait, so hold on a moment. Hold your horses! How in the hell did Shiro get a sheath inside of him? That's fucked up. How does that work? How do you born with that? Did his sheath get lodged inside of his... I don't even know. Did he accidentally swallow it? How do you swallow a sheath? I'm really confused. But it's kind of kind of hot. So, I'm good with that. Uh, uh, that was my sheath. The lost sheath of Excalibur. Uh, well, that may be true, but but why would it be in my body? Shiro asking the real questions here. Kuritsugu probably put it in there. Kuritsugu? Oh my god! Put him in... Oh, well, he's dead, but... That lollycon. I knew it. I knew it! Kuritsugu couldn't be trusted! He's got that weird past where he kills a lot of people. He had to do a lot of really bad shit. And I think because of that, he's developed really strange kinks, like putting sheaths inside of people. Especially kids. That's strange. Imiya Kuritsugu used the sheath of Excalibur as the catalyst to summon me in the last war. The sheath is a noble phantasm that heals the possessor's wounds. He must have thought it would be more useful for him to keep it. How you put it in there? I just don't know. I have healing powers, and I do not die easily. If the master who dies easily has the sheath, they have a better chance of surviving the Holy Grail War. Then father survived the war because he was like me? You know, that must be weird for, for Saber. You know? How she's like, yeah, well, your father wasn't really a nice man. I didn't really like him that much. But for some reason, I like you, Shiro. So let's bang. It must be weird for her. I don't know. Probably. After the, the battle, and after I disappeared, Kuritsugu wandered through the burned field and found a dying child. He had no healing powers, and even if he did, I assume it was too late. So I believe there was only one way for him to save that child. I unconsciously placed my hand on my chest. On that day ten years ago, I accepted death, looking up at the sky. My whole body was burned, and maybe it really was burned to ashes. When Kuritsugu found a kid barely alive, he had to rely on what he had on what he had on hand. The sheath of the holy sword that protects the life of its possessor. He must have saved that dying life by implanting the sheath. 
than it really is. Yes, it has been disassembled and lacks its original form, but your body certainly contains the sheath that is the cause of your healing powers. But, but I almost died once. I was pierced by Lancer at school and... That's right. Someone saved me at that time. When I came to, there was no one there, and all I found was a rock. Wait, so we never figured out that that was Tosaka? Interesting. I took the rock home because I thought it was something important, but it's, but it, but is it still at my house right now? That was before we made a contract, correct? The sheath, the, 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 the sheath is my noble phantasm. It does not exhibit its power as a noble phantasm until magical energy is channeled into it. You cannot obtain your immortality unless you make a contract with me. Well, I am sure it will protect the possessor's life if any magical energy is in it, but it will be weak. I am sure fusing with the sheath was the only way to save a dying person. I see. Um, I'm sorry, Saber. Uh, your sheath was used for something like this. Please do not say such a thing. You are my master, so it is only natural for you to use what is mine. Hey, hey, Kawai Saber! Hey, I have a, I have a Saber power ranking. Because you, you always have to have a power ranking of, of people. And I'm pretty sure Kawai Saber is like four... It's like five or six. Of course... Tops, it goes, the top three are uh, Smug Saber, Poncho Saber, and uh, I don't remember the other Saber. But, yeah, this is g good Saber. Kawai Saber, good Saber. And I was happy when I learned about it. Even though I could not save anybody, I had saved your life. Her smile is so brilliant that I have to look away. Shiro, does your wound hurt? No, that's not it, just... Don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with you. I hide my blushing face and shut my mouth. You guys, like, did sex stuff together. How are you still at the part where you blush at each other all the time? I had my blushing face and shut my mouth. Jabroni. There's no pain in my... It, there's no pain if I don't speak, but this is really awkward. I wonder how long we've been like this. Just as I start to calm down. I wonder if they're gonna, like, fuck right here in the middle of the cemetery. As they're being chased by, like, Gilgamesh and Lancer. Saber quietly says, Kuritsugu was correct. He did not betray me. She says so, as if regretting her past. Saber? That Holy Grail was not what I sought. No, I, I did not need the Holy Grail to begin with. Kuritsugu must have known that. Her murmur sounds more like a confession. Saber apologizes to a person she cannot apologize to anymore, and she looks at me to and she looks at me to part with the wish she held for so long. She doesn't say a thing. My heart understands just by being beside her. What's this? Is this happy Saber? Arturia sought the Holy Grail. Oh, this is her before. Oh, this is that's pretty cool. I mean, that's her when she was normal. She doesn't have... She's not all, like, with the hair and stuff. A lonely king who needed to believe that ruin was avoidable with the Holy Grail. If. A girl who wished for what would happen if she could redo the selection. Saber, that's... I knew it. I knew I could not redo things. I knew it, but I still continue to deceive myself. But this is the end. Her long battle will finally end. Thank you, Shiro. I finally understand the path that I need to take. Yes, the Holy Girl and I are just dreams that must not exist. Oh, shit. Am I gonna have to cry during this? Because I feel like crying anyway, so I'm prepared. She murmurs that she would still like to be forgiven. It was a mistake. It was a mistaken wish. Days that were not to be wished for, but the weakness was just a passing dream a girl saw. What should I feel? Listen to her? Saber's answer is beautiful. A decision full of dignity and purity just like her. She is proud of her past and has accepted the end that awaits her. And now, 
Saber has decided to follow her oath, her oath until the very end. She doesn't even need to tell me what that means. She will not hesitate any longer. And I find that beautiful. A dark night from the moment I was captured by her figure in the moonlight. I have loved her. So, regardless of what awaits ahead, there is only one thing to be done. Saber, let's destroy the Holy Grail. I say so, throwing aside my attachment and my selfishness. Yes, I believe that you would come to that conclusion, Master. Saber nods in response. I can't smile back at her. It takes all I have to surpass my heart, telling me I don't want this. But still, there will surely come a day when I can be proud of being trusted like this. I get up. Now that I've decided, there's no time to rest. It's clear what must be done, and the enemy is clear as well. There's no time to stop. Today, we will end this long battle before tomorrow comes. With Saber helping me walk, I make it back home. The wound on my chest hasn't healed yet. According to Saber, I should stay still for at least a few more hours. Alright. I think the game just fucking crashed. Oh wait, no, there we go. I'm gonna save. Because I totally thought right there the game had crashed. I bite my lip. I hate my body, unable to move when it's clear what needs to be done. Oh wait, no, I think we got the crash this time, guys. I think we got it. This is the first time this game has crashed for me. Let's see. Yep. It's still recording. It's hard locked. I'm going to give it a moment. See what happens. Oh, we're good. It's just freezing a lot. Uh, I bite my lip. I hate my body unable to move when it's clear what needs to be done. Shiro, were you considering something rash just now? That, no, I wasn't thinking about anything. I will get angry if you push yourself too hard. We will go into battle as soon as your wound heals. Soon as your soon as your wound heals. This will be our last battle, so let us face it in our best condition. Are we just going to have like a crazy orgy? <laughs> I'm I mean, at this point, I'd welcome it. Not with Elia though. Not with Elia. That would be weird. Right, we have to prepare and not be impatient. Where Kotomine went, how we beat Gilgamesh, there are many things to think about, and I have to rest for now and prepare myself for later tonight. At that instant, my mind stops. <sighs> There's no sign of anyone. The air is different. Uh, there's blood on the floor? So that shouldn't be a thing. Amidst the smell of burning, I can also smell the strong scent of blood. Uh, I run. I ignore my wound and run like I'm running away from the bad feeling I have. I run through the hall, turn the corner, and enter the familiar room. There. The scene before me is anything but familiar. Uh, uh, no! Not Tosaka! You can't do this to me, game. Tosaka. We've had, we've, we've went through up and downs through this whole story. Me and Tosaka. We've had... we. I've been so happy that Tosaka's been at this game at times. And at the same time, I've been like, No, you're terrible. Get out of here. But... Tosaka is the best. Okay? She has flaws. She's the best. Around. Okay? Nothing's gonna ever bring her down except for being stabbed in the stomach, it seems. Tosaka? 
My voice shakes. I don't know what happened. All I know is that Tosaka is looking at me, breathing weakly. Oh no. She's alive. Saber, do that thing where you put her where you put your hand in her chest. God, this is violent as fuck. Look at all this blood. They went to great lengths for this one. Dude, she was like Oh, like she's bleeding from her head and her mouth. Blood is literally everywhere. Can I even show that on YouTube? Oh, you're home at last. Jeez, I was bound to go to sleep, you idiot. I don't know what she intends, but she's talking to me normally, even though she has a wound that should make even talking diff difficult. Hey, don't talk, you idiot. Damn. I have to stop the bleeding. Saber, bring me towels, hot water, and a bowl. Saber nods silently and runs to the bathroom. All right, all right, Tosaka, I'll be right back. You know what? On the way there, I'm going to make you a sandwich. Is that okay, Tosaka? Bandages. Oh, wait. Bandages. Bandages and sty stip styptic? No, they won't do. Doctor. I have to get a doctor and do something. I pull out the first... Oh, that's Shiro talking. I was trying to do stabbed in the stomach, Tosaka. I pull out the first aid kit still in a panic. No, I I've treated my own wound. I so I don't need a doctor. I'm just going to do it normally. Who cares? There's something more important though, right? What? Tosaka stares at me, breathing hard. Tosaka? I don't know what she's on about, but... I nod, thinking that I have to listen to her for now. Are you really okay? This is... It's fine. I can treat my own wounds. But I'm sorry you went off trusting me, but I couldn't protect Elia. So first of all, she's like she could treat her own wounds. Shouldn't she already, like, be really fucking dead? Look, her hair has stuck to the wall from the blood that's drying. That's some crazy stuff. Huh? That finally calms me down. Tosaka is injured. The living room is destroyed. And Ilya should be here, but isn't. Kotomine did this? She nods. I don't even need to ask since, she's, since he's the only one left. But only Saber and I knew that Kotomine was our enemy. This must have been a complete surprise attack for Tosaka. Because the seventh master happened to be her teacher and guardian. Don't apologize. Even you wouldn't be able to do anything if you were suddenly attacked. In spite of what you said, you trusted Kotomine. Yeah, I guess I was conceited thinking I could do everything myself. She coughs up blood. Crap. I can't let her talk. Let's talk later. Don't move for now. I'll treat your wounds and let you rest. Yeah, please. But I have to tell you something first. Look, Shiro... This is my last piece of advice, so listen carefully. I don't want to hear words like that, but I nod silently. She's looking at me seriously with that wound of hers. I don't know if anyone would be able to stop her. First, Kotomine's objective was Ilya. He must have known from the beginning that she was the vessel of the Holy Grail. Ilya is the Holy Grail? To be more accurate, her heart is. Magi are people with the magic circuits, but Ilya is a human made from a magic circuit. I think she will become the vessel to summon the Holy Grail as soon as there is only one servant left. Then, Kotomine took Ilya? He took her, but... Gah. I should act like I'm coughing up blood. As long as Saber is still alive, the path won't open. Kotomine won't try to do anything to her. I can only hope so. Lancer isn't an easy servant to beat either. He can't mash he can't match Gilgamesh, but he might be able to at least run away. I can only hope so, but I can't tell Tosaka about that right now. All right. I'll go save Ilya so you can depend on me. I see. Then the second thing. I think Kotomine is at the Ryudo Temple. It's the best plan to summon the Holy Grail. 
He'll be out of the church already, so he has to be hiding at that temple. Okay, so Kotomine is at the Ryoto Temple. Right. Must be hard for her to even move her neck now. But Tosaka gives a slight nod. Then this is the last thing. You won't be able to beat Kide. After, are you still going to fight him? The question. This question is not asked as a friend called Tosaka Rin, but as a magus who understands the situation. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I, this one doesn't seem like it would lead to anything bad, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to go with the first option. I don't know. What would Shiro say? Is there a way? Uh, I don't know. My answer is already decided. I have no chance of winning and that situation is the worst possible, but still. I'm going to fight. I owe him for a lot. I can't back off no matter what. Kodomine Kire is an enemy Emiya Shiro has to defeat. I have to settle things with him. As the, as the one who survived ten years ago, as one of the orphans, and as the son of Emiya Kuritsugu. I see. Then I'll give you this. It's just for self-defense, but it should be better than nothing. Saying so, Tosaka reaches behind her and takes out a dagger. Nice. It, has, it says something on it. It says, As Azoth. It says Azoth. This is all too famous a dagger. It's a dagger for rituals more than battles. A magic wand shaped like a sword used to form magic circles and to affect physical divine mysteries. The word Azoth is carved into the jewel on the handle. The blade must be Tosaka's preference as it's shorter than usual. This weapon, favored by a famous occult scholar who is pretty much dominated who pretty much dominated the world is called the Azoth Sword. It's like the proof of adulthood for a magus, and it's like a gift you get for getting into school. Tosaka, this is you should be able to tell. It's my dagger. It's weak compared to my jewels. Well <laughs> Phrasing Tosaka even in death. Well, hopefully you're not dying. It's last, uh, it's weak compared to my jewels, but I put magical energy in it from time to time. You can activate it by y yelling loosed, loosed, I don't know, and putting as much magical energy into it as you can. I know the umlauts are like, gives it an ooh kind of sound to it, I think. The dagger she gives me is heavy. Not physically, but the weight of memories Tosaka has in it. Tosaka, is it really okay for me to take this? It's fine. I realized I couldn't beat Kide, so I hid this from him. I don't want it to go to waste, so go ahead and use it. Alright, I'll take it. Honestly, any additional weapons will be helpful. Oh, you're pretty smart. Then, is it okay now? I'm getting really sleepy already. She laughs awkwardly. Before I realize it, Saber is standing behind me, waiting to treat Tosaka. Yeah, go ahead. I'll wake you up in the morning, then I'll make you a huge breakfast. I like that. I think I'll do that. Oh, and this isn't advice, it's an order. Shiro, if you're going to fight, you have to win. I won't forgive you if, you, if you're dead when I wake up. She must be satisfied after saying all that. Tosaka falls asleep right after that. She looks so healthy that I feel stupid for wor worrying about her. But, well, that was her way of cheering me on, and she did share some of her courage with me. Yeah, leave it to me, Tosaka. I tell the sleeping Tosaka. The board is all set. Now, I just have to pass the few hours until my wound heals without regrets. The date changes. We treated Tosaka, took her to her room, made dinner, and ate it silently. A little longer. The wound is almost healed. There's only an hour or two left. 
in the remaining time, I'll save. <laughs> I will save in the remaining time. Spend time with Saber. Go and report to Kuritsugi. Have a strategy meeting. Um. Well. <laughs> All right. Think like Shiro. Spend time with Saber. Let's just go from the bottom up. Have a strategy meeting. That would make the most sense, I believe. Because you, you're not just going to sit and not talk. You're gonna ha this is a really big battle. You want to have a strategy meeting. Go and report to Kuritsugu. Once again, we haven't talked. So this is basically just get right to it. Or spend time with Saber. Which we want to have a... Which, which we'd want to... Uh, I don't know. I know the middle ones don't pick the middle one. <laughs> I have a feeling on that. And I've experienced like three or four bad endings on Reddit already. And I don't want to play through it again. So, uh... Let's, uh... God, I don't know. I don't know if it's spend time with Saber or have a strategy meeting. To me... Having a strategy meeting would make the most sense. But maybe spending time with Saber will give that same thing. But we'll also have sex again. I don't... I, yeah, I don't care about sex scenes, man. Just have a strategy setting. Or strategy meeting. Strategy setting? What does that even mean? Pop Knuckle. Yeah. There's only one thing to do. We've already done so. We've all we've always done so, so I should follow that until the very end. It's not romantic or elegant, but it would be more like us if we meet and come up with a plan. Who knows? You may get to have sex anyways. <laughs> they just may have sex. Shiro, coming up with a plan is fine, but is... Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, like, You've lost Shiro Imia. Shiro, coming up with a plan is fine, but is this the right place for it? No, I have to be here. Let's go in. It's not like I don't have any ideas. Okay, if you say so, I will obey. Saber reluctantly goes into the shed. Well, I have my reasons for bringing Saber to the shed. We don't have any. We don't have any way to match Gilgamesh right now goes without saying that we need a plus alpha factor so look for a weapon strength and saber give saber back her sheath dude this one's so obvious it's give saber back her sheath i feel very confident so confident that i'm gonna save this but there's no way you wouldn't look for a weapon Pfft, what weapon is gonna beat defeat gilgamesh strength and saber what the hell does that mean? Give Saber back her sheath. This is so... Uh, that was easy. Let's return... It, it's so unprompted, too. It's like, it's just sitting there and it's like, return the sheath, but why would I do that? No. Return... Give... Come on. Come on. I've also watched Fate, so I know what to do here, but... <laughs> Let's return the sheath to its rightful owner. I don't know if it'll, it'll succeed until I try, but Saber put her hand into my body to check for the sheath's existence. And at the only place she put a hand, you know what I'm saying? Then it shouldn't be impossible to take it out. Wouldn't that cause, like, heart problems? <laughs> you have a sheath inside of you? What? Are you serious, Shiro? I'm serious. It's yours to begin with, right? So it's only natural to give it back to you. And you might be able to beat him if you have it. My magical energy will certainly increase if I have my sheath back, but I still cannot guarantee that I will be able to beat Gilgamesh. And if you take out the sheath, what will you do? If you take the sheath out, you... I won't heal even if I get hurt, but that's normal. I've, re I've relied too much on this body of mine without even knowing it. People die. 
when they're killed. Hell yeah, Shiro! Hell yeah! People die when they're killed, Shiro! Hell yeah, they do! Shiro's my man. He fucking knows! I can't be protected from such a normal thing now. Take the sheath saber. We need this. We need to do this to win. People die when they're killed, Saber. Don't you realize this? Don't you realize, Saber? People die when they're killed. <laughs> Never change, fate. You're so philosophical, you're almost stupid at times. Biting her lip painfully, <laughs> Saber doesn't answer. I don't know how long that lasted, just as the clouds disappear and the moonlight starts to shine in through the window. All right, master. I shall borrow your heart. That's a cool line, though, to make up for the people who die when they're killed. That makes up for it. Saber nods at my words. Then, I shall begin. Are you ready, Shiro? This requires us to have so much sex right now, Shiro. It is unbelievable the amount of sex that is required to get this sheath from out of you. That is not the only thing I'm going to get out of you, Shiro. <laughs> People die when they're killed, Shiro. Don't you understand this? Yeah, go right ahead. Saber agrees. Saber places her hand on my chest and plunges it into my body. My job is easy. Taking out the sheath is similar to the steps in the projection magic. The sheath of the holy sword is melted into my body. It just needs to be gathered into one place and form it like it was before. Of course, that's just the image. I say I'll return it to its f original form, but it's only the magical energy that will shape like... Whatever. Saber is the one who, give who gives it shape. The cluster of magical energy will take shape in Saber's possessor's hand I'm just helping her as if making something from nothing so this is where the Foo Fighters got that song from They, Dave Roll sat down and played a lot of Fate I take the scattered pieces of the sheath and carefully reproduce it without flaw how does he know what the sheath looks like my body's burning Projection is way beyond my level. The magic surely kills my body every time I use it. It destroys my nerves, burns my skins, crushes my brain, and makes me a vegetable. But it's the only weapon I have, and this is the only way to help Saber. I imagine her figure as I saw it in my dreams. Still the best art, man. Some That's like top three best art from the whole Fate series right here. The golden sheath suited to the king who ran through many battles. I take what protected the king and led her to numerous victories and reproduce it vividly without any mistakes. I love the colored version, though. The colored version is beautiful. So that, so that no matter what happens, I engrave it into my mind so that I will not regret it, no matter what kind of end awaits it. I hear Saber's voice. Something that was binding my body for a long time escapes. Amazing. This is excellent, Shiro. No one else should be able to reproduce it so perfectly. It must be perfect as Saber seems surprisingly happy. My body is burning and I fall onto my buttocks. Shiro, you are sweating a lot. I will bring something to wipe it right away. Saber runs to the house. Listening to her footsteps, I let out a sigh. I felt it was perfect, too. It was so perfectly done. I believe no future projection will be as perfect as that. Bye. Thanks for everything. I bid farewell to that which was part of me until now. The golden sheath that protected her. I will never forget it. Even if it leaves my body, it figures its figure has been engraved into my heart. <laughs>